Hello and welcome to what is a first look and build log for the GPRC 130X. It's a 130 size uh, frame and I'm going to fit it out with 1306 motors that I'll show you shortly uh, to run 4 cell um, for a bit of fun. So let's see what we've got now. Assembly schematic, quite straightforward. Uh, rubberized Velcro strap for battery. Um, one of those iffy XT60s that melt with some cable ties. Um, a power distribution board with regulated 12 volt and 5 volt. Some rubber landing feet, which is always good. There's the hardware accessory bag, but I may end up using some leftover columns from a tweaker build or some other spare ones, depending on what colour I'd like to do it. Um, they are a little bit shorter, and look like they're about 25mm, about an inch. Yep, 25mm in comparison to 35mm for these other ones. So we'll get those out of the way. We'll get a plastic camera mount and the screws to attach it to a frame. And the necessary means to mount three different size cameras. So one size fits all pretty much. Here's the top plate. Um, looks to be about a millimetre or something. Got laser, laser etching in, so that's cool. Let's have a look how thick it is. That's a, I think it's. Can't really see in this light. I think it's one and a half mil a mil, and then the frame plate itself, which is a single piece. This is a it is a true 130 millimeter class frame, exactly 130 millimeters. Looks to be about two, two and a half, three mil. Um, feels quite sturdy for what it is. So that's the frame kit itself. I will be running it with a Lux flight controller. Obviously, I'll have to do some vibration isolation because of the 6500 gyro on it. Um, I'm stepping away from a conventional build with a power board in light of using this 4 in 1 20 amp ESC. And I think all I need to do is just run the VBAT for the Lux and my. VTX off of the input and that will do away with the whole power board um, it may not work it may may do and I'll solder directly to the um, I'll get rid of these wires and solder the wires from the motors directly to them I'll be using Emacs 1306 3300 kV red bottoms as the 2205s I've recently used were absolutely awesome I come with three nylocks or lock nuts and the necessary mounting hardwares. Depending on the frame, I might have to add my own. I will be using the iRange X RX800 mini receiver um, with S bus protocol, uh, powered directly off of the flight controller itself is why I love the Lux so much, although the gyro is a nightmare. So nice and small. Brilliant. 
Okay, a little update regards the receiver I chose to use. Um, what I thought would be an ideal choice turned out to be a bit of um, uh, a failure. Um, it fits perfectly, it's nice and small, but it goes into fail safe and it's not very reliable and I don't trust it. Um, it's documented on RT groups, among other places, what problems it has. So, just a look, update, I've swapped out the RX800 for uh, X4R Esperts. Um, as you can see, it's not that much larger and it fits perfectly fine, so no problem with that. And the added benefit is proper telemetry. So, that's a little update. Got a packet of loads of different vibration isolation if needed. And the FPV system will comprise of an Ishin mini CCD camera. And hopefully it will fit in the mounting hardware that the frame came with. An Aonway circular polarised plover leaf for lobe and a LT200 200mW uh, to run directly off the battery voltage. This is the completed product as you can see. It's all kitted out with the aforementioned parts. Um, the only thing I didn't mention was the propellers I'm using which are the King Kong 3034 blades. They are absolutely awesome. Um, Plenty of thrust, great on free cell, great on four cell. The four in one Racer Star 20 amp VL Helios speed controller works a treat. Um, it's nice and compact, um, it's quite light still. Um, I'll do a later video showing exactly how it's all put together. Um, but the final word I'm very, very happy with it and it flies just like my other forest craft uh, nearly half the size